Chow, pow, 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 pow. Free Bitcoins, free trail maps, and free shrugs. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Did you know there's a game show called Take My Bitcoins? And the entire premise of the show is to win free bitcoins. You'll never guess what the show's about, Dave. Uh, you see, the show is an allegory on human love and betrayal as witnessed through the eyes of a mentally ill, Harvard-educated circus performer. Really? Of course not. I just told you it's a game show called Take My Bitcoins. The whole show exists just to give away bitcoins. How do you think the pitch went for this show concept? I have an idea for a show. Let's give away free money. Hmm, do you think anyone will watch the show? I'm not sure, you know, people might not really want free money. Really? Well, how about if we crack a bunch of jokes and then give away free money? Still not too sure about that. Okay, how about if we crack a bunch of jokes and have people call in to answer crazy questions and then give away free money? You might just be onto something there. They did that all through like the 70s and early 80s. <laughs> yeah, and it worked. It worked. I think they might be onto something. You think? Well, anyway, it's at takemybitcoins.tv. Check it out. And if you win a huge pile of bitcoins, remember who told you about it. My standard fee of 10% applies. Dibs. You guys know how Callie and I enjoy being on the water, right? She's always on her boring stand-up paddleboard, while I'm all party on my motorized catamayak. But one thing we can both agree on is... If you want to find a cool hiking, biking, or running trail, you should check out alltrails.com. Okay, I've got good news and I've got bad news about all trails. First, let's get the bad news out of the way. Some of you may recall that I got the new Magellan Echo Sports Watch in for review during last Friday's live show. In fact, right now I should be wearing it on my wrist, but I left it in the car and I'm too lazy to go get it. However, the Echo currently only works with iOS devices, so I loaded the All Trails app on my iPad Mini and took it to a really awesome park here in Dallas. The All Trails app lets you record a route you're taking just by hitting a button. So I started recording and went to hiking. For the first 3.6 miles, I was loving it. Along the route, I was able to just glance at the Magellan Echo and see my distance, my speed, my time, because it acts basically like a second screen for the app. And as I was hiking, I could stop and take photos and make notes with the iPad and all sorts of cool stuff. Then, 56 minutes into the hike, the app crashed hard. In fact, it wouldn't even reopen. I tried like 20 times, it even rebooted the iPad. Ultimately, I had to uninstall and reinstall it to get it to launch again. In the meantime, my route and all my photos and everything was gone. I was a bit put out. So after my wretched experience on the iPad, I decided that even if my Echo wouldn't sync with my Galaxy Note 3, I was going to use it anyway to try and track my route on an Android device. Unfortunately, I couldn't make some functions work when I first tried to use the Android app, but later I got it working. So now that we've got that out of the way, damn it, I still love the service. You should all go register for the site at alltrails.com and... If you want, you can search for me and follow me on there. I don't know, maybe there's some social benefit to it. And even give the iOS and Android tr apps a try. Maybe I was just having a bad tech day. I hope so, because I really, really want this app to work well and I want to start using it a lot. I also hope they get the Magellan Echo support going very soon for the Android device because that was a huge positive for me and I'd like Android users to be able to take advantage of it as well. AllTrails also has some premium features and if I ever get a contact over there, maybe I'll give them a try and do a complete review. Sidebar, if you're with AllTrails, email me because I got some suggestions for you guys. Holy mother of black dry erase surfaces.
Is that even a thing? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> because our friends at Updesk just released this little video today showing off the fact that not only do they have white dry erase surfaces, they also have black ones that you can write on with neon pens. Hey guys, it's Cameron from Updesk. Last summer we launched a brand new product called the Upright, which is the world's first hot adjustable desk with a whiteboard top. We've had incredible feedback from the very beginning, and that's personally the desk that I use every single day. To switch things up, we're going to be offering a second line of this desk, and it's going to be called the Upright Midnight, which is a black dry erase board topped desk. The desktop works perfectly with dry erase neon markers, and we'll be sure to include those within the packaging. The price will be the exact same as the original upright at $11.49, but the only difference will be the lead time as it's three to four weeks. So this is basically a test just to see if you guys like the desk, which explains the longer lead time. And if you do like it, it's something that we can permanently offer within our desk line. So be sure to tell us what you think. Hmm, this could change my mind about the whole standard black versus whiteboard top thing on our up desks. I didn't even know a black whiteboard was an option. What do we call it? A blackboard? I bet if you draw pictures of aliens on it in neon ink, they look cool. Oh, can you get glow in the dark neon whiteboard markers? The geek house would look awesome after dark. What could you be doing in three seconds? Well, how about Bitcoin mining, hacking, hiking, welding, gaming, pranking, running, filming, laughing, winning, living. You know, some of life's most crazy, incredible, meaningful, and scary moments happen in a matter of seconds. For example, it took about three seconds for some crazy person to run a red light, T-bone my brother's SUV and roll it three times. We got lucky there were only a few stitches and broken bones because everyone had their seatbelt on. Well, they say it only takes about three seconds to buckle up and I'm 100% certain that my brother Kirk and his wife Jenny are alive today because they took those three seconds to buckle their seatbelts. And guess what? Callie and I want each and every one of you to wear your seatbelt, not just because cops are out in force cracking down, handing out tickets like free candy on Halloween. Hey, maybe you can afford like a $5,000 ticket, but guess what? We can't afford to lose any Geek Beat viewers. We need to be growing the audience, not losing it. And how are you going to make it to our next local meetup if you're worm food? So take three seconds to buckle up and keep enjoying Geek Beat. Day or night, click it or ticket. Oh. And only you can prevent forest fires. And don't mess with Texas. Robert Briley tipped me off for this one today. If you're a fan of the iPad and you've always wished you could split that tiny little screen into two so you could run multiple apps at the same time like you've been able to on Android and Microsoft tablets for a long time, your wait may be almost over. Apple's upcoming iOS 8 update is supposedly going to allow two iPad apps to be used at the same time. Apple may also be enabling XPC support in iOS, which would allow apps to more easily interact. For example, you could drag content like text, video, or images from one app to another. That would be pretty cool. Say, dragging content from a web page in Chrome to an Evernote document. For now, it's only one of many rumors, but we'll keep you up to date on the latest iOS 8 news as it arrives. Finally, Steve Thompson pointed out in a Google Plus update today that a game which would never work in Texas is coming to London, the Water Gun Assassination Game. This is a three week long game that starts out with all the participants meeting in a dark seedy dive somewhere to pick up a dossier that details their target's info. Name, address, phone, where they work, a whole bunch of other stuff. The mission? Soak them with a water gun, then take their assignment and repeat. The winner is the person who ultimately ends up getting their own dossier because let's face it, there can be only one. 
They've already done it in New York City, Vancouver, Vienna, San Francisco, Los Angeles, London, Chicago, and Paris. And the next mass water gun assassination game starts June 1st in London. So, if you want to live in fear and feel the thrill of the hunt, visit streetwars.net and pay your 60 pound registration fee by May 18th. <laughs> that. You totally have to do that. I, I think people in Texas would be shooting each other for real. <laughs> That's it for this show, guys. I am John P. You have been watching Geek Beat. Thumbs up on YouTube. I'm out of here. <laughs>